千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Derek Lin, where we take a deep dive into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. As ever, I would like to extend a warm welcome to one and all. Thank you for joining us. I want to invite you to center your thoughts and direct your attention to this moment in time, to the here and now, to be fully present and mindfully aware, as we all ready ourselves for this sacred process in the Tao with one another. The Tao of cause and effect. Four ways to express the Tao. What do we have here? From the previous chapter, seventy three, we have the heavenly net. In this chapter, we were just discussing the master executioner, and now we're talking about the great carpenter. So we're using the interpretation that this is yet another metaphor. And then today, the term that we commonly use, even even if you had no Uh, idea that these different terms are used in the Tao Te Ching. You hear people talk about karma all the time. The source is various. Now, the original source will be ancient Hinduism. So the source today may come from Buddhism, which got that term from Hinduism, and it may just come from popular culture because the term has become very popular indeed. And we all, I think, we all understand what karma means. And it's fascinating to me to compare the ancient terms, the metaphors、uh, that Lao Tzu used. Back in the days of Lao Tzu, 2,500 years ago, no one in his time in ancient China had heard of Buddhism. That's because it was being created in India at that time. It was several hundred years later that the teachings of Buddhism was spread to China. So. Lao Tzu was several hundred years too early to even hear about the term karma. It didn't stop him to talk about the same thing. He used these different terms, starting with the heavenly net. What is the concept? Well, you cannot outrun the negative consequences you create. Every fish will be caught in the net sooner or later because. Nothing gets through. So Lao Tzu says the heavenly net is vast, covers everything, but nothing gets through. So that's like saying that well, you cannot escape your karma. Then in this chapter we see the master executioner. What is the concept? Well, death has always been part of the Tao. The executioner is the entity that. Gives out death, so to speak. So those who are unwise or reckless will meet their end like prisoners executed by the executioner. So that's the concept. It is really the the reckless, thoughtless abandon from individuals that cause the early demise. But the metaphor is being used that it's like being executed by the master executioner. And now we see the great carpenter, and we can apply the same reasoning to see what the metaphor is really all about. The Tao is like a skillful carpenter knows how to use the sharp tools to cut wood. Those who move against the Tao are like pieces of wood that are too long. The carpenter cuts them down to the right size. Different ways to talk about the same thing. Finally, what karma, a term that we were all familiar with. And we're all familiar with expressions like, "Hey, what what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. The energies you put out that you project into the world, well, it's going to circle back to you. It's going to be amplified many times when it comes back. That's karma. So all of these, I would suggest, are different ways, different lens to look at a single truth, the great truth." Of the Tao.
our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us all travel safely so we can meet again. Until next time, may the Dell fill you with peace and happiness.